Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online on the legendary server. We are here at the Chamber of the Crossroads, Bosi is here, and we I think today we are going to finally be leaving uh, Moria and going towards uh, Lothlorien sort of area. Uh, we need to talk to Haldir upon a flat southeast of the river Nimradel. Uh, so, yeah, you must seek the age of Lady Galadriel, so that's why I'm thinking that's going to be the case today. Uh, desperate times certainly call for desperate measures. It looks like if we were to do this, uh, yeah, right there. I know exactly where that is. So that does bring up the point of I last time I was around this area did not grab this stable master. So question now becomes what is the quickest way of getting there? Um, technically, it's Durin's way, I think going 21st hall and going this way um and then going around because the bridge is obviously broken uh we know that much so what i might honestly do um the shadow of we're gonna bring up this thing and we're gonna just have a quick look um and then we're gonna quickly uh use our hobby gift of the day as well before i forget because i'm very good at forgetting those uh, Chamber of the Crossroads. There we are. That's the milestone. We don't really care too much about that. And then we're going to go Mor Moria. <laughs> and then, um, what's it called? The first hall. So, uh, first hall there. So, let's calculate the shortest route. Chamber of the Crossroads to 21st hall and 21st hall over there. Looks like, obviously, there is a stable master thing. Doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, for us yet because we're not going to have it. So it looks like we will have to manually travel, but that does look like the closest thing going up through there and around that way, uh, I think is how we went there last time. But let's have a look at our hobby gift of the day before we worry about that. It's going to be 20 virtual experience and a massive pile of copper scrap. So one gold in total. So we'll quickly sell that because we don't need it. And I'm going to go to the 21st hall, and then we're going to see about These traveling from there. Will be great fun okay, so, we're going to get on our, our, our goat, our mount. I was about to say our horse, but obviously not. And I just want to have a quick look up here, because in theory, we should be able to travel through that way. But I think that's through the, the little chambery thing here, and I don't think that quite works, unfortunately. So that's going to be a little bit annoying, I think. Um, so the great doors, pretty sure we are unable to get through here. Yeah, because this whole point of this was like, especially in the last episode, was it's a dead end. They can't get through it. So that seems to be that. So we'll probably have to go this way. That seems like the quickest uh, choice there, I think. And I guess we'll quickly see... I'm just going to have a look at this Stable Master and see from this Stable Master if we're able to travel. If not, um, or like travel to the first hall, because it might be one of those locations where it's just automatically unlocked. If it's not, then we'll just head over. May Durin okay. return okay. soon to um, Yeah, I'm not going to bore you with it. I'm just going to stay on my Stable Master, press the wrong button, and uh, stay, stay on my Stable Master. Stay on my goat, my horse, whatever, my mount, and um, we'll just travel... Uh, I think I've already got this. Oh, no, I must not, because I've only just got this. We can at least get the Fang Pit and then just run through here. Um, I'll basically just ignore all enemies, just run straight past them, and we just want to get out of here. Because as soon as we get this Stable Master, then we're good. I should have honestly got it when I was around here last time, uh, but I completely forgot. I'll be completely honest. Well, I decided it was best or better not to. But let's just get this Stable Master, see what the area is like. In fact, will you be able to... I know if I had um, Mithril Coins, it would work. No, okay. Holes. Either way, we're going to make our way there, and I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, so we're approaching where the Balrog was in that one instance, so this is the furthest out of Moria we've ever gone, because I think it was... Well, if we stayed there too long, we actually ended up dying, which we found out unfortunately happened. Uh, but yeah, we are... Our furthest ahead as we've ever been. We have discovered the first hall. There are a few enemies. I'm surprised I didn't really get attacked. I mean, there's... So, going through this area, I saw one enemy, I think. And then going down this sort of spiraling path, there's, like, quite a lot of dwarves working there, I think. I think it's dwarves. Um, I didn't really pay much attention. But uh, they were attacking me. I just kind of ran past them. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. But 
we now have the stable master, which means we can go to and fro right, from the 21st hall over Martin to here, Kingdom. which is good because more travel options is always great. Right, let's go and leave Moria, finally. So here we are, we can finally breathe a breath of fresh air, quite literally, uh, <laughs> now that we're out of here. I remember coming here, I think when we first came here, we didn't have the... Uh, the quest pack or the expansion or whatever it is i think it was just a quest pack uh for this area so there was a few quests i think that we weren't able to do there's quite a lot here uh we might have to come back here and do those but we Slide are quite me. a bit ahead so maybe not i think i was struggling a little bit when i was first here um but yeah we've got those available to us if we really want we're currently 95k away from leveling up so, uh, if we really wanted to today, and we wanted to do like, I don't know, 10 quests or something, we could do that. Um, it's finally nice to see enemies on our level, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, if we wanted to really go for it, we could probably level up today. But I like to take my time. I think that's kind of the whole point of the Legendary server. We're like 100 episodes ahead of where we were on the uh, Arkenstone. So, I'm pretty chill when it comes to that sort of thing on this server, because I think... If I rush through it, it's almost going to be a bit of a waste. That's another reason I don't really worry about the skirmishes too much, because I was always worried about being on like certain levels and stuff. And I think it's just nice with the legendary server to take a little bit of a more relaxed uh, approach to it. And uh, we're also still ahead, <laughs> generally. I think that's also because we're doing like longer episodes. We, I think, generally, I just know the game a bit better. Um, so we kind of have that advantage as well, even though we're actually doing, we're getting more done in the last time because I used to do episodes every day and now it's every other day, so yeah, I remember struggling with these guys. Oh, it's bringing back so many memories. I wonder if we'll be able to get into Karis Galadon. There's a rope there, but I've had weird issues with the rope where sometimes it will let me in and sometimes it hasn't let me in. I don't really know what's going on with that, but we'll see um because you actually to get into there you normally need to have a reputation uh to get through the gates but you can basically sneak in th uh with the rope that's up the side of it for like some quests i might come back and do those prologue quests when i get to like 130 on arkenstone i kind of want to go back because i've got two quests the prologue quests from like volume two or something um, it's this over here, yeah? Yeah, this, I saw that ladder. Um, yeah, I've got two prologue quests in the Karis Galanon, so I might, when I get to like 130, we're 128 now, well, we'll be 128 in the next episode. Um, it'll be nice to, to do that. There's also three quests up here. Interesting. So, Haldir. We can also get book nine forward from here. Why nice. should we aid the dwarves? It was folly for them to return to Moria. Because Moria's open, and if they get overrun, then the orcs are going to come to you. It is no small matter to enter Lothlorien. Oh, interesting. I don't remember this. So, chapter two, an enemy of the orcs. We have to complete the goblins and orc slayer deeds. Doesn't say the advanced ones, so I'm hopefully... I don't know why it lagged so much there. I'm hopefully... Oh, we've already completed. <laughs> nice. Maybe that's why I don't remember it. So, I guess if you kind of rushed through Moria then you wouldn't be able to do this. So, maybe that's, as I said, why I don't remember it, but Moria, I always find it weird that Lothlorien is before Moria as well. Uh, we've got Goblin Slayer Advance and we've got Orc Slayer Advance. So, I would find it very difficult, I think, to get to this point without completing those. Unless you skipped, because this is a different uh, book now so you can't skip to this book i, I assume that's why the lady galadriel must be told of the evils the dwarves have disturbed within okay. moria yes if you are trustworthy we have need of your aid okay so talk to orofin and rumil which i assume are not these people and let's have a look at your other quests actually bring celeborn's letter if you offer it willingly um you should me not to say that you're crossing an emeraldal you're welcome to take refuge in our talent and share our provisions for you must speak with you at length for a serious matter. Um, in the chamber across you find an important dwarf who goes the name of Hrolfer. 
He oversees much of the expedition and endeavours. He did wish to speak to our messenger. He has a reputation as a hero among the young garrison. He will listen to you, hasten him if you will, and bring him his note. We should have to deliver. Okay. We're going to accept that because I think we have to go back there at some point. And it's going to be worth having a quest to, that we can at least do something with. We're going to remove it from Tracker though for the minute. It's not really a huge deal. But I'm pretty sure we have to go back there at least once during this new quest chain. So, the yeah, we'll uh, we'll worry about that later. The Lord and Lady have need of your services. So we might try and do a couple of these quests. I mean, how much we got? 11k from that, plus killing enemies. So we got 22k from there, plus two quests from here, plus killing the enemies. As I said, um, this one's quite good because it gives us a well, either a heritage rune or a sealed setting of power. We might get the relic uh, just because these are pretty easy to come across. I think. And that's just kill some enemies, so why not? I don't know where it wants us to go for this, though. They're in the boundaries of Lothlorien. Ooh. So... Oh, okay, so they're there. Okay. So technically, this is Lothlorien. That's Moria. That's how they're sort of reading it, sort of thing. Interesting. Right, what I might do then is I'm going to talk to these guys, grab that stable master, and then come over here. And then I think once we've talked to these guys, maybe completed what they want, and do these two quests, then we'll finish up for the day. Because I don't want to rush, as I said. I don't want to, like, you know, do, like, 20 quests in one episode just for the sake of it. Um, maybe not speak the common tongue, but its message is clear for the moment. This post is quiet. The orc threat is gone for the time being. Good. Um, yeah, I'm not going to, like, rush it, but if we can get, like, a few quests done. Do you have a quest? No, you didn't. Well, you might have a quest later. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. That's what. Two quests there, three, four, five. Five quests. We'll be halfway to leveling, and I think that's pretty good. So we can get, like, five quests done next episode, or in the next few episodes. Um, then we can, you know, level up to level 61, which will be nice. Oh, so Orphan is about to speak when something distracts him suddenly. Yerk. Well, that's, this is good because he should, I'm hoping, maybe count towards this other class? No. Maybe I can pick up their weapons or their weapons are separate. Kind of annoying that they don't count towards this thing. You're just gonna shoot from afar. Good. That's what I would like you to do as a archer. And then we will just tank them and take the majority of the damage. That is what we want. Cool. Haldir is uh, happy. Going to be happy, hopefully. There is a stable master somewhere here that we will grab. And then we'll complete those other two quests. Go back to Haldir, complete the three, and then we will be done for the day. So that takes us up to here so we've got to actually it might be worth doing that and then working our way down to be fair Make of lots of traveling about today but i think it's worth it um also means we can get back here for other quests as well uh maybe for next episode if we decide that oh there's apparently some enemies back here we can finally get back on our steed rather than our uh, horse or our steed rather than our um goat i'm having a real tough time with the concept of a goat i don't know why um, yeah, so it looks like the orc weapons are maybe a separate thing from the looks of it. Hopefully these guys, well, they're going to be on level, so we're going to have a little bit more of a problem with them than we were for the rest. But, uh, it looks like we're quite lucky in the sense of, well, it's level 59, so it's not really going to matter. But, we have a chance of getting level 60 stuff, uh, legendary weapons. And with that one, we can just um, identify it and then deconstruct it immediately if we want to. Or because it's a champion uh, rune, what we will probably do is maybe keep it for the minute. And then when we have a lot of heritage runes and stuff, we can like, aggro both of them. That's what I wanted. Uh, when we get like more heritage runes and stuff, we can use those and... Uh, Level it up to max deconstruction. So. Should be good. Hopefully, relatively quickly, because if we get too high level, it's just not going to be worth it for us, really. But if we get other stuff that isn't champion, we can just deconstruct that, like that guardian axe that we just picked up. 
So the green is their weapons. So I'm going to guess there aren't that many. Probably not five up here. It depends on if it's like an individual sword laying on the ground or if it's like a rack of weapons. Depends on how it is on the map. But either way, we do have to still make our way back down. And I mean, if we were to complete it here, we could just get the Stable Master back. That is fine, but more than likely that's not going to be the case, so it won't matter too much. Oh, hello. I didn't invite you to this party. Oh, hey, we got another legendary weapon. It's nice to be getting these. Yeah, so it looks like they are like barrels. So what I want to do is aggro you, bring you in closer, and then you'll bring me up to eight. And we'll see if it's just the one set of weapons, because we'll keep an eye on the map. If it's the one set of weapons, we'll just leave, uh, because we can definitely get two more kills uh, further down. So if this turns to nothing... Nope, there's at least one more. That means we can very easily get up here. And uh, how much XP are we getting? 500, basically. Not terrible. I mean, 550, 430. It's not bad. And I mean, we are getting these uh, little rep items plus the bigger ones as well, which is also useful. Is that off the map now? 100%? Yep, cool. Horse we go. Part of me wants to go on the, the goat because I feel like I've been neglecting it because I keep not saying goat, basically. But at the same time, I've been in Moria for a while. I haven't been able to ride my actual horse for a while, so it needs a bit of exercise, I think. I don't know technically in the story how many days um, it is. I think it's only supposed to take place over a couple of months, like from the beginning to um, destroying the ring and stuff. So can't be that long through Moria. Right. So I'm hoping that there is three weapons. Because there's definitely two enemies worth there. That looks like three weapons at least. That looks like two. Just because of the way the blobs are. Um, though normally if there was only like three, I'd say there'd be um, like individual quest rings rather than an area. So there's probably like maybe four or five. Maybe six at most. I'd say. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to like... Focus on finding the weapons like this. And then I'm just gonna. We could probably get this set of weapons without aggroing. Basically, if I get aggroed, I'll go for the enemy. But I'm not gonna, like. Well, I said that. I'm literally going in for this aggro. I was gonna say, if I'm, I'm gonna try and get them and sneak on them. And if I have to kill enemies, then I have to kill enemies. But this is. The two enemies we need, these are the two alt weapons we need, so that's us done uh, with this. So let's go. I might have to kill that sapper, but I'm not sure. He might just walk back. And we actually got a minstrel sword. So we've actually got quite a few legendary items. Let's use all the rep up, just so we have nothing get stuck. And this is where my inventory starts really filling up, is when we reach this situation. So we've got the Champion's Rune. That's good. I should use my Virtue Experience. Um, we've got the Guardian's Axe, so we'll get rid of that, or we'll identify it and get rid of it. Same with that one, same with that, and we've got a couple. I think we had that one before already, the Burglar's Mace, and same with this one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six weapons to deconstruct. That's pretty good. And then one to identify and potentially keep uh, with us as well. So... That'll at least be something. And then we'll just give in these three quests now. Hopefully get a decent amount of experience. Now, if this does get to uh, level 40, it's going to mean it can't level up. So we're going to have to find a legendary thingy. There's probably one in here, but we'll worry about it in the next episode. And uh, go from there. Because then any experience we do have goes towards our rune, which is useful. Because that can then get to 30. And if we can keep them about 10 levels apart... I think that'll be good, um, rather than 
I mean, ideally, we'd probably want them at the same level. So, you know, when we get a new set completely and then they will have exactly the same amount of experience because it will get shared. But 10 levels is sort of the nice difference I'd like to have if I could help it. I got really confused by it having a yellow name. It's been a while since I've seen something with a yellow name, or at least that I can remember. I'm used to yellow names being like, uh, like people you can interact with sort of thing. Rather than enemies. This ladder. It's like the hardest thing to find apparently. Or red names. <laughs> but that's just because they're five levels ahead. Right. Be wary, traveler. We're going to get the, down from the mountains. power relic thing, and, speak with me. and the lamb soup. We'll accept your quest just for next episode, maybe. We'll Be complete wary, yours. Orcs have come down from oh, and the you've got the same, basically the same the thing, same rewards, different uh, quest. So we've got a deed as well, which is good for our reputation as well. That's nice to have, uh, because that will help us with getting into Lothlorien. That's the same one as the current relic we have. I think it should stack. I can't remember if they stack. And then we'll complete you your quest as thanks. well for the Kuzul tablet. We may have need of your help. So the Shattered Refuge, do. that is in L Moria. Yes, right there. So we do have to at least go back. Hopefully we can get first hall to Shadow Refuge. That might work, or at least to the 21st. First hall to the 21st hall to then go towards there. There should be a swift travel way of doing it. Um, so more than likely what I'll do is in the next episode we might do a couple of these quests around maybe to level up because we're only actually two, three quests? Well, including killing enemies. Probably two quests, these two, away from leveling up and then uh, we can just pick up maybe some that are up here um, as well and just get a few extra bits of XP. So either next episode or definitely if not the episode after we will be level 61. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.